How's it going, y'all? Right now, I am on Main Street in downtown, historic downtown, Littleton, Colorado. Super cute downtown area. Really, really great suburb. I'm so excited to show you around this one. One of the best suburbs in all of Denver. Let's get into it. Littleton, Colorado. Three, two, one. How's it going, y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Denver. Check out our website, welcome to denver.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home, place to land here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. And that's whether you're moving here from out of the state, out of the country, across town, just down the street, or you're buying a house for the first time. Relocation and first time home buyers, that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those things appeal to you, first of all, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up and say what's up in the comments. Appreciate that very much. And second, if you're moving here, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Go to our website, welcome to denver.co. Email us at info at welcome to denver.co. Check us out on Instagram, welcome to denver.co or call or text the number on the screen. You'll be glad you did and we will take the absolute best care of you. Right now I'm at Gallup Reservoir, which is basically adjacent to or part of Kirsting Park here in Littleton, Colorado. Littleton is a gem of a suburb. It feels a little bit like a small town, a little bit like a suburb. It's close to all sorts of things. Littleton is a great choice for a lot of reasons and I'm very excited to show you around. All right, let's do this. going y'all right now I'm in a neighborhood which is just to the west of Cooley Lake and in the very southwestern corner of the Littleton suburb and I chose this neighborhood I think it's a pretty good example of some of the higher end homes they're actually even higher end homes here for sure and there's some equestrian, you know, horse ranch type homes here as well. It's not as walkable though. I'd probably only cover one home between walking, but, and then the other ones that are more expensive are gated. They don't let a hippie like me in there. But this is a good example of higher end homes. I mean, this house is, but it's a beautiful neighborhood. And this is one of like a few examples. There's a few tiers of homes here, I would say, you know, maybe 2 million plus, 1 million plus, and then 700 plus, probably a little higher than that. But yeah, that's a, an approximation of what, what we got going on here. Littleton is a very conveniently located suburb. It's about 20-ish minutes from downtown Denver. It's probably 40 minutes from the airport. And then it's maybe, depending on where you are, maybe five or 10 minutes to like Denver Tech Center, right? It's got pretty strange boundaries. To the north, its neighbors are Inglewood, Sheridan, and Fort Logan. To the east is Greenwood Village and Centennial. To the south is Highlands Ranch. And also it cuts at Colorado State Highway 470. And then to the west is Columbine. Also geographically to the west, is the Platte River. Littleton has the 20th largest population in the state of Colorado, coming in at around 48,000. So pretty substantial populated suburb, and it's pretty fully developed. So the density is almost entirely here. I guess with an exception might be if some of the like equestrian ranches, maybe those would become more dense at some point, but they're really expensive homes. You can tell they paid a lot to have all that land. In the last decade, it's grown by 15%, which is a pretty fast rate of growth. I think a pretty big factor for that is kind of the next chunk that I'm gonna talk about, which is the schools here in Littleton are some of the better schools available in the Denver metro area. It's the kind of situation where 
really no matter where you end up in Littleton, as long as you're in the Littleton School District, you're gonna have A-rated schools, very desirable schools. And there are quite a few schools that serve Littleton, all of which basically get an A. Heritage High School and Littleton High School both get an A. Littleton Academy and John Weasley Powell <laughs> Middle School both get an A. And Wilder Elementary and Littleton Elementary also both get an A. So obviously schools are a pretty big magnet for for why people want to move to an area, why people build in an area, etc. right? So it's no surprise to me, the 15% growth in the last decade, it doesn't surprise me. Where there are good schools, population tends to follow, and so too does tax revenue and all sorts of other amenities because people are paying a lot to be somewhere. They're also going to be able to pay a lot to enjoy the luxuries and the amenities around that spot. Like I said at the beginning of this, there's a pretty broad range of homes available in Littleton, which I think is nice because you can get into Littleton and you don't have to have a million dollar home like these. They do come in lower. The median list price is right around 535,000 in Littleton, which is pretty good. Right now the cheapest listing is right around 400,000 and then there's a listing around 8 million right now. I'm sure it goes above 8 million every now and then and I'm sure you can sometimes get below, but 400,000, pretty low for the Littleton area. If you want a condo or a townhome, you can get one of those for as low as $200,000. That would probably be condo, right? And probably pretty small condo. They go all the way up north of 900,000. Statistically speaking, Littleton is a very, very desirable place. And just vibe wise, it's really great as well. There's not a lot of places that come to mind that you can get this sort of high dollar suburban feel, right? With well manicured yards, nice wide streets, cool suburban feel, while also having equestrian ranches, right? Where they have multiple acres, insane houses, and even like views, like vistas, that's pretty amazing. And then you have sort of the smaller downtown or and the homes closer in there. So you get this historic downtown, really cute, really walkable, and then more affordable homes because they're a little bit older, a little bit smaller, a little bit less impressive. And there's not a whole lot of places in the country, I would say, that have all of those things while still having A-rated schools, and just a lot of really, really good things going for it. I'm excited to show you around a little bit more. Take this, take that in. What a nice neighborhood this is. Let's go for a drive. friends right now I'm just at a commercial area that I think is a decent example of some of the conveniences that Littleton has to offer there's King Supers back here and then just kind of a slew of different random suburban amenities that you'll see in a lot of different places so I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in Littleton and the first pro is schools I'm gonna say that that's like the main reason that people are moving here are the schools. Really good schools, like I said at the beginning, pretty much A's across the board. That's hard to find in the Denver Metro at all, and they nail it, so good on them for that. The second of which I'm gonna say is the very, very cute downtown area. Historic downtown, very hard to find as well, and just kind of a special place that I'm particularly fond of. Next, I would say that it has some of the best outdoor spaces in all of the Denver Metro. There's reservoirs and lakes and biking paths and hiking paths and just a lot of area designated to outdoor lifestyle, outdoor living, that kind of thing. The next one I'm gonna say is that it's conveniently located to downtown Denver, to the Denver Tech Center and to the airport. Basically, 20 minutes to downtown, 5-10 minutes to Denver Tech Center, depending on where you are, and maybe 40 minutes to the airport, which literally I feel like everywhere in Denver is, because the airport's in such a dumb spot. Alright, I'll drop it. Okay, and then the next pros, it's kind of combined. Really great, quiet, 
neighborhoods, a lot of very peaceful neighborhoods with a pretty wide variety of home style. One thing I like is that it's not too budgetarily discriminatory. That's a ridiculous phrase, but to get in here. There are homes as low as say 400,000, and then it goes up to ridiculous amounts. So if you want those good schools in Littleton, you don't have to have an upper echelon income. You can still end up here 400K plus. Might not be the fanciest house, might not be exactly like a showstopper, but nonetheless, you can own here, single family home in the 400K range. But that leads me to my first con, which is that some of the homes, typically in those cheaper areas, are going to have a little bit lower pride of ownership. I'm actually kind of walking by some apartments right now that they're a little bit run down. They're not terrible, right? Like, they're okay. I feel like I don't want to put these people on the spot. But they're definitely, they are lacking some maintenance. They could use a bit of love and that kind of thing. Okay, the next con is kind of related to it. It's basically the same idea. There's a little bit lack of pride of ownership, but in the commercial spaces. Right back there where I was just walking, that is Broadway and a lot of Broadway. <laughs> I just think it's kind of ugly. As far as like suburbs go, it's just like these random smaller businesses that face Broadway. There's just a total mishmash of what they look like. And I mean, if they were like really cool, unique shops, that would be cool, but they're not necessarily. Like they're just kind of okay. And there's like a thousand car dealerships. How many car dealerships does one place need? Okay, last con I'm gonna say is that some of the accessibility to the West, specifically to Columbine and things over to the West, is kind of limited because there's really only two bridges that cross the South Platte River within the Littleton border. And so if you're in the middle of it and you gotta get west, you kinda gotta like go out of the way to get west. Oh, kind of annoying, kind of a small thing, but nonetheless, it's annoying. Okay, that's it for pros and cons. Let's go for a ride. friends right now I'm at South Platte Park it's a beautiful park here in Littleton really close to the sort of southwestern edge of Littleton there's a greenway trail I'm on it right now there's a bunch of more stone trails dirt trail currently walking on one at the moment it's just really beautiful really idyllic there's townhomes back there bad thing to say about this at all right now there's also but Cooley Lake is basically right over there we'll see how long I take doing this if you've been watching these videos you know that I do a section called the for fans of section which is basically to say if you're into this neighborhood, maybe check out these other neighborhoods. Or if you've been to these other neighborhoods and you understand what they feel like, maybe you'll have an idea of what Littleton is all about. The first place, I would say, to me this is probably the most comparable place to Littleton, and that would be Golden. And that's more in feel. Golden has that adorable downtown area that is just kind of hard to match. They're both sort of rooted in gold mining and that history. And so the little downtown areas kind of feel that way. And there are assortments of really beautiful homes and still some more modest homes. So to me, Golden is the closest example to Littleton. But if you're in to Littleton, check out Broomfield and Columbine. And then the next I'm gonna say is Greenwood Village, which I should have a video coming up on very, very shortly. By the way, I intend to do all of these places. It's just a lot to get to. I will get there. Greenwood Village has similar sort of upscale nature to some of what Littleton has, but it doesn't exactly have the cute downtown. It's almost like you trade out the cute downtown for Denver Tech Center. So they feel different in that way, but proximity wise, they're very close. They both have good schools, etc. And then the last place I'm gonna say, this is a bit of a stretch, but it's Centennial. Centennial is a huge suburb with all of the suburban amenities that one could ever want. It's further out from Denver. It's probably going to be newer. The homes there in general are going to be newer, but kind of generally I feel it's worth checking out if you're into Littleton. Those are my four fans up for this one. Again, like always, if you're thinking about moving out here, to beautiful Denver, Colorado. Do whatever you can to get a hold of us. We'll take the absolute best care of you. Go to our website, welcometodenver.co. 
email us at info at welcome to denver.co check us out on instagram at welcome to denver.co or call or text the number on the screen they all lead to me i can't wait to talk to you i can't wait to show you around denver and really just find you the perfect place to call home it's what we do and as always as you exit the video do so safely subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up say what's up in the comments i'd appreciate it very very much i work very hard on these videos and we work very hard and we absolutely bust our butts as real estate agents thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one right, bye bye